Okay, okay, hello dear friends, good afternoon, such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Let me see if I can use my... No, no, it cannot be used because my face is not there. Oh, yes, that works. So I stood up and uh, and uh, I could see. So just uh, uh, recently I was making some of these uh, mass videos and uh, and uh, worksheets and I would like to share with you some of my thoughts. And I got one friend comment and said I was bad at mass, but um, I forgot what she she said. She said uh, she was bad at mass. And then I was thinking, this is something that happens so often to us. And uh, if we have a, a different view on it, maybe we will have a, uh, we will have a different way of understanding. And uh, if the teaching have a different approach, or if the result is pursued differently maybe we can make we can have a chance to make math more fun so this is the worksheets i made first you can take a look observe the number pattern and fill in the blank it's kind of something math is about finding uh finding a universal truth or finding something that is hidden and uh, I think I have discussed with my son I forgot the big son or the, the younger son uh, mass is uh, we invented mass or we discovered mass something and I was thinking and thinking I feel from the deep root we do not invent mass. We actually just discover. It seems the nature has so much rules, mathematical rules and order. There is already there. And we are just explorer and looking and discovering them. This is what I think. So here... Um, so I want to bring some fun into the classroom. Uh, one is the number fun, number sense. Another is about shapes. There are times at the very end, math is a very abstract um, science. It's an ex abstract uh, art form. So we transfer shapes into numbers is by itself an abstraction of uh, the existing facts. So, for example, 3, 6, 9, 12, what will be the next number if you, if you, um, if you are comfortable with number? This... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. So if you are comfortable with numbers and this number all makes sense, number itself register to your brain. If you are not so comfortable with number, there is nothing to say that you are not good at math. And uh, or maybe it says, oh, I will tell you my story. For example, uh, English language or French language or any other non-native language for me, it's just not easy for me to register in my brain. I can see the language, but it does not reflect, bounce to my mind just so naturally. And for people who can, who can uh, understand another language and think in another language is actually very deep very difficult it is not easy so from that point it brings me much easier to understand you 
if you feel that you are uh, frustrated because the number does not make sense, there is nothing wrong. Maybe because your way of thinking is a different track. We do not speak a certain language because we were not born in that language. We were not trained in that language. And uh, people miss some sounds because we never heard about it. In each language, there were particular kind of sound. In Chinese, zhi zhi shi, zi zi si, I, I know it's very sharp sound for you. And in French, ah, uh, ah, uh, some sound in other language does not have. You are born with it. It's not because you are just naturally without listening. You can understand it. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo is trying to open the door. Oh my goodness, cuckoo is so good. He, oh, she opened the door. Okay, so some language we can understand because we from when we were young we listened to it the day we were born we listened to it and we we can register those sound and if we do not listen to them at very young age it just does not register does it make sense so yesterday i was listening to a broadcast or a teacher's training workshop, Joe Bowler, talking about it. So all these exercises are inspired by, by this creative thinking. So there is actually no right or wrong, but t t you can explain this in your own way. Each is difference is three. I have not yet figured out another way to explain it, but uh, you can... You can just by deducting all the apples. Mm. They are both three, three times three plus three, three, six plus three, nine plus three, twelve plus three, plus three plus three. And this one, 19 to 15, it is very common and very easy that we think this way, just uh, naturally uh, deduct from, from the later one to the previous one. The difference is 4, and these two differences are 8, so this must be 4, and this two 4 must be 4 is the difference. And this one, every 100 is a difference. And this one, 9, every 10 is the difference. Oh, this one, I can change it. That's the good thing about it. When I, uh, I can even, uh, even correct a little bit. Uh-oh. What is going on? How do I finish this? Okay, okay. Now you can create some number patterns to impress. Oh. Now this should be to impress. I want to guess and think with you. So students will produce some. And this one you can see is by time. Times two, times three. What is going on? Why are you always pop up? I did not want you to pop up. There are some, some uh, videos. Let me just close, quit, fire. Firefox, some videos are just always. So times four, times four, keep the same pattern, times four. Now you can, I want you to impress and I want to think, guess and think with you. And this one, can you see the pattern? This one is not, a. Uh, if you minus, three, five, seven, 
you can use that method also. Three, five, seven, that must be nine, that must be eleven. And also you can think it as a square of one, square of two, square of three, square of four, square of five. And this one, one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, five, uh, five, six, seven, uh, 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 three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. You can see the pattern, right? If you, I think for some of us, it's like English. I am blind. I am relatively blind. I cannot see the neurons of it. And if number does not register to us, we do not see the pattern of it. And we, we cannot see the difference. We ignore the difference because it's not something that is very natural in, in us, right? Do I make any sense in this case? Right? So you can see the pattern. 1 times 1 is 1. 11, 11, 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. And uh, this will require some of... Uh, exercise but once you see the pattern it will be very interesting sometimes we are so afraid of patterns we are so afraid of numbers we do not do it and if we do it you we will find there are something that is quite interesting and this one is fill in the blank i made uh, um, a number chart 10 by 10 so students are oh, oh, don't move students are supposed to fill in the number 1 2 3 4 5 10 11 12 13 blah, 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 until 100 at the beginning i was thinking maybe i should type it and then i was thinking if i type i am taking away First, the labor of writing the number. And writing the number itself produce the work, produce the exercise, and produce our connection with the numbers. If I type everything, they will not have a chance to see the pattern. By doing it, they are so close to the numbers. They will see the pattern much better than me. Right? So only see the number does not work. Give them the chance to practice on it. So here you observe the number pattern and do the calculation. You can do directly according to the order. But hold on. In class, I do a lot of this exercise. I do a lot because numbers are connected. If you do not see the number, the beauty of number is that some numbers snap together, make another beautiful number. So this is one, three, eight, because you can do these two first, right? And for this one, 36 and 64 makes 100. 149851 makes a thousand. Make 10. And um, mm, this one does not make 10, but um, maybe I will change this number so that uh, it is more obvious for students to see. Make sense? Yes, this way is m more obvious. 55 five make 10, 28 make 10. So, uh, make some intention and uh, intentionally bring the, gosh, I forgot, I should not do this. So, this is another problem of me 
I should write those questions in Chinese, but uh, I do not know. I want to make sure that the they do not get uh, um, the, 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 the they do not struggle with language. So four and five makes twenty. Twenty two times nine is much easier, right? And this is a whole number, one new number. And one two five times eight is one thousand. I have said it was a gazillion time. So they know it. And I do if we have not yet done a hundred times, at least ninety nine times of this. So and this one is half of 24, three quarters of, so nine, seven, eight, nine of these exercises so that they get into the, the repetition, get into the rhythm of doing it. Now we move on to this. At the beginning, it can be simplified. Later on, it cannot be. So this is the worksheet so far I have done. And also, I have done some... Um, um, this one might be easier for you to see. Fun patterns, mass patterns. So if you do not see the number relations so clearly how about you see this can you see a pattern of it it is number it is just those exercise i have just to bring it out in another form but some people may register more with these shapes and Jo bowler in her class she said she asks students, ask people to give it a name. Some give it a name as raindrop. It's like uh, as if raindrop, another drop, another drop coming down, more drops coming up, more drops coming up, layer after layer. So, and some think it's as a, a staircase. This one, it's like a, like a mountain. Does it look like a, a mountain? Mountain grow, and uh, you can see the pattern now, right? And the change is different. So each time it adds a different number. And this one, I will not say it. Take some time to look at it. You will find the fun of it, right? It is the the, 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 the the equal linear progression, the same speed of growing or different speed of growing. This one. And I bring this question. A lot of people got trouble with it because they think too hard, think too deep. If you think it is simple, it's a square, another square, a bigger square, a bigger square, and we just keep on squaring up. And this one is like a tree growing up, sprouts, right? Grow more branches. And this one, the wall. Build up a wall, a build up a ladder, or the wind blow, small wind, bigger wind, bigger, 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 bigger. And this one, it's stack the bricks to make it. Um, and this one to stack the bri bricks. And this one is hard. You kind of see the pattern, right? 
And this one, do not think about the number. Do not think about the mathematical fun, uh, uh, expression. Just think about uh, the number, uh, the, 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 the shape. Zero inside, one inside, two square inside, three, three square inside. And actually the formula is N N plus one square minus N minus one square. So when N is one, two square minus zero. When N is two, is three square minus one. N plus one square minus N minus one square. And this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, four, two, one. What is the next one? Each time we half it. The next one will be half. Let's see this one. Three sum, double three sum, triple three sum, quadruple three sum. The next one. This one, what does it look like? It's like building a very, very fragile tower. All the tower upside down, right? And this one, I just made some of these shapes and just repeating, rotating, repeating, rotating. How about you? Can you make some of these uh, designs or something? So I am thinking if you think this is mass, you do not necessarily, necessarily need to express it in abstract math formula. But if the teacher allow each student to tell its story and, uh, and open mind to listen to their story instead of finding one solution, finding one formula. It might be very interesting. So yesterday, last night, I was just thinking about it. And um, the more I, I, I make it, the more I get into the rhythm of it and want to do it. It's uh, so fun. So that's uh, about it. That's uh, what I, I want to say about mathematics. There, is, um, there are many ways to, to explore things. If we think math is only about numbers, we are kind of narrowing down. And the true essence of mathematics is actually to create something to assimilate the existence truth in nature. That's what I like about mass. However people dislike me, however people dislike my video, I am just a fool about it. Bye bye friends, I love you, I really do. Do 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 do, do do.